Well, it's time to get your house all spiffed up and ready for the holidays. Yep, Gina Tepper is here. She is our resident <laughs> craft and lifestyle expert, and you always bring a beautiful table with you. I mean, look I at these colors, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. And the best thing about it is everything she makes, if you've never seen her in her show before, <laughs> is done by her beautiful little hands. Mm -hmm. Everything's recycled and, and, and done up. And I just want to start over here because these wine glasses that you brought, oh. which you could probably buy anywhere, right? I bought the wine glasses at the dollar store. I'm guessing, dollar yeah. Store. Really? Yeah. At the, I bought the, not with the beating, no, but with right. the dollar store. I went in the dollar store. I was like, wow. I, I like, love finds like that. I know. And then you dressed good. it up on the bottom and tell us what you did. Okay. I bought a glue. I really wanted to bead the bottom because I like pretty, pretty wine glasses, but I like my decor to change all the time. So uh -huh. I didn't want to buy something expensive that I get tired of. Well, yeah. So what I did is I, I bought some beads and actually had a lot of beads. And you can use old costume jewelry mm -hmm. to have things go out of style. So I got a really good glue. I went to um, the hardware store. I was like, I need something that you can wash. I'm going to turn this so people can see. Yeah. Look, oh, there look you at can the see detail there yeah. that you can do pretty. with the beading. It's really so pretty. sparkly. Know, it's so easy. Go. Hot glue I mean, gun, is that what you no, use? No, no, it's snap right off. I went and I got a silicon glue that is water resistant. Wait. I went to the hardware store. And you just I just put it all over. So I mean, well, all the guys are at the hardware store doing like you know these big things. You're like, I need silicone glue for my wine glasses. Yeah, they're I like, like it. what are you talking about? So they were very helpful though. So <laughs> this will stand up when you wash it. It'll be it'll be it'll okay. Be, it's fine if you wash it. That's why you need a waterproof silicone glue. Oh, okay. I use DAP silicone glue, but there's also liquid nails and there's other things. So just find one at the hardware store. Right. Now it's glue. Absolutely the best the idea. Big beads first, okay? Mm -hmm. I glued and then all the big beads. It in. Then I got these little seed beads from the craft store, and because I spread the glue all the way around, I just sprinkled them on, and they stuck and you just tap it to shake the excess off, let it dry for 24 hours. Kind of like done. glitter, right? Yeah, you so know you what? have time to make these. For People the will be talking about these all night if you put that on your I table. Know. That They're is beautiful. gorgeous. They're really pretty. Very pretty. Now show us some of your decorations you okay. made over on this side. This, I really, you know, after a storm is the best way to find natural elements outside. And we've had a lot of storms lately. Yes. So I went in the woods and I found all these twigs. I went with the kids and I just rubber banded them together. Uh -huh. And I put some stones and some leaves and, and I put lights in there. So that way. Yeah, when, I love the little oh, lights that you got. The LED lights. lights, so if you can see they're right there. So you, I don't know if you can see it with all the bright lights in here, but once the it's after dessert, I like this on a dessert it table because it kind of glows and it's it diffuses through. It looks really pretty, and I just glued a few leaves on there. And of course, I have to do my cookie copia, yes. which I love with Girl my cookies with my Nielsen Mazzy. If you're gonna buy anything to cook with, buy the Nielsen Mazzy vanilla extract. It's amazing. <laughs> now this I made. Um, you have a lot of gourds and pumpkins left over from Halloween, right? So I made these little I made these little turkey guys. Oh, you know, how I made cute. the turkey guys. But for some What's reason, I tried to make them look happy, but they look scared. <laughs> they didn't. Because they, they know their demise is soon. <laughs> so I think they scare them. Those aren't stupid guys. turkeys. Now, this, oh, this is, is another that's thing. That's a great I idea because she probably still have some of those left over yeah. from, from Halloween. Yeah, so you I, just kind of move them to the next holiday. That's what I like to do is reuse things from the previous holiday. Now, I made these frames. Um, I actually, this is what I did. I cut a piece of, um, cork, you can use cardstock, whatever mm -hmm. you have, and I spray painted it with chalkboard paint to make these little, I love these that little name, named places. And chalkboard then, paint, put oh, it on there. Yeah, and then, of course, you know me, I have to decorate everything, so look at my chalk. <laughs> Even your I, chalk I, I embellish my chalk. Chalk is decorated, too. <laughs> I know, so people at the table, they can <laughs> erase it, so and great. they can write, and they can have fun. And oh. you reuse these for yes. the next time you yeah. have a party. Now, if you don't want to so do this chalkboard paint, Get some really good black cardstock because right on it with the chalk, you'll see it writes really, really oh, well. Okay. It actually writes well. I was surprised. And you can actually yeah. even make like a stand up one if you don't have a frame. You can do that and I you can write names. This. this is a perfect idea. This comes now, together so well. And the kids see it gives the kids something to do too. They I know, love that. I, I love seeing their name on the on the place card. It's yes. fun. Chalk is fun. Everyone likes chalk. You For know, sure. it's fun. Now I use the Halloween tea lights from the Jack o' Lanterns and I covered them with ribbon. And I use an existing, I mean, you may not have the exact wine, uh, not wine, <laughs> candle holder that I have, but you can just put, I put a big piece of cardboard and I glued some flowers on it. Now, everything at the craft store we were just talking about is on sale. Oh, my goodness, you can buy yes. these, these ho this holiday Thanksgiving flowers for nothing. And I just put more sticks in there and just mm -hmm. give it more natural elements. Beautiful. Now, I made these leaves. And then what's great about this, it's in the middle of the table and it's not too high. So yeah, you can talk I know. over it. That's one of the things about centerpieces. I know. I don't yeah. like it when there's a centerpiece mm -hmm. and you're going like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to Absolutely. Somebody. Exactly. Look at these leaves I made out of a dictionary. So you took dictionary paper, you cut yeah. up a dictionary. So why Webster. did you use a dictionary? I don't know. You know, I, you can use newspapers too, but I thought they'd be really pretty at a conversation piece. And plus, when you're at the table, people are going to be reading them and asking oh, what word. Like, did you know? 
<laughs> this okay. SAT word. I know, seriously. So you cut them out. Now let me show you. If you want to make these, fun. I can show you how to make these. Okay, yeah. But you got to wear gloves if everyone okay, is willing to. Oh, okay. Got the gloves ready for us. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, suit up. Put go. a glove on. Because you will get your hands dirty. So, but these are really beautiful side. because if you look at it, look at the difference between this is a leaf from my yarn All and right. this is a leaf from outside. And they look almost the same. Yep. Like you can't mm -hmm. really tell which is which. Like we're so. suiting up for surgery. Here. Let's do this. <laughs> Going in the clean room. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I just don't want you to get doctor. ink on your hands. <laughs> I don't want you to get ink on your hands. Okay, see, I already had ink right here. So, because this stuff will stain. It will stain. Okay, we got to be careful. So we're going to color stain. our, our, uh, our dictionary leaves. leaves. All right, so okay. take some leaves. Just take some leaves. There mm -hmm. you go. Okay. And let me spray some water on it for you. Just a little bit of spray. Water. Water, 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 water. Okay. Water, water, and what water. does that do? Now just pick a color and just one spray. Now what are these called? These are these great ink sprays, ink sprays I got at, um, there's this great craft, specialty craft store at Savage Mill. Do they called smell? This says mm -hmm. melted chocolate. Oh, I was hoping it smell like. I was like, all right, let's yeah, do that. Yeah, with the cookies later. That's right. <laughs> I think I just want some cookies. Okay. There's this, oh there's this um, store called Ooh, Queen's Ink. Oh, that's fun. I know, isn't that awesome? And then you can do different colors. You just have to do one spray. It goes a long way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look what at that. Beautiful colors. Yeah, they look didn't at have that. These when I was a kid. I, like I know. This. It's the Queen's Put Ink. On some red. At Savage Mill, I bought these, and I took a class and learned about these. Are these, these expensive? Ink. How much are they? No, it's um, it's like five dollars for each one, but they last forever. But look at this. And you can even rub the leaves together. Look, you rub them together. Brown on there. Put a little different colors. Oh spray, wow! Spray. I love it. Look at that. Look Turns at out all folly. All oh, autumn <gasps> Look at that. Oh, yours I are I want to point out Natasha. over over to your left, Melanie. She's got oh, yeah. uh, wine bottles decorated, which is so great. Oh, my gosh. You know, at the store, you could buy those, but you're doing it right there with yeah, all your recycled stuff. Like so you used some that. burlap for this? Yes, I did. Oh, look. See, I got ink all over me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. It'll come on. But um, I want to show you something that's really cool. Okay. Okay. I had this idea, which I think is a really great Thanksgiving tradition. I took a picture frame, right, uh -huh. for my dessert table, and I put it down. So you can oh, see, yeah. I put it down as a decoration, so it looks really That's pretty. It's a picture frame. It's a picture frame. And who knew? And, and you could just put it down with the, the cookies on it. But what's really cool is, you know, people are going to have some of this, and right. they're going to be like, take my picture. <laughs> <laughs> you already have the drinking around. games planned out. Right. Gina Tepper, thank you so much for all these great things. I love and, it. and happy Thanksgiving to Thanks your family. Enjoy this week. I know. All, all right. right. We'll be right back after the break with more show. <laughs>